Hello dear dancers, this is Joana Saida with another message from the Womb. This time around I want to tell you about musicality. Yes, it's not about only what you do, but how you do it, how you use the music. That defines you as a dancer at a great extent. So what is musicality? Is the, the sense, the instinct, the playfulness, the way you shoe a piece of music before you even know what's that about. It has nothing to do with knowledge and training and education. Although musicality can be trained and can be educated, it can be enhanced, but the quality itself comes before the training, comes before the education. You may not know anything about, let's say, Chinese music, but if I throw at you a piece of Chinese music and tell you dance, you can manage that sound, you can grab that sound in some way if you have the sense of musicality. Even if you don't know the background of that music, you don't know the rhythms, you don't know which instruments are playing, you may not know anything about the, the, the information, yes? The things that compose that music. You may not know intellectually what's there. But if you have the sense of musicality, which is a combination of listening and instinct, and confidence, the self-confidence to allow your body to react naturally to a sound, any sound, you will have a great sense of musicality and you will be able to follow the music, any music, in your own peculiar way. So in Egyptian dance you have the rhythm, you have the melody, you have the lyrics, then you have the synthesis of all this, which is in the end what we need to do as dancers. We cannot focus just in one particular detail as a musician would, let's say. Yes, a musician would know where he's playing and when other musicians are playing with him, but he would mostly worry about his own instrument. A dancer is a, a part of the orchestra, is an element of the music, an element of the orchestra that has to worry, in a sense, with everything, with every instrument, with every solo, with every dialogue, with every detail, every nuance, every dynamic rhythm, melodic phrase, everything. So she is the bridge between the music and the manifestation of the music, the physical manifestation, which is the dance. She's also the last element, the element that will add the emotional experience to that music. So aside from the rhythm, the melody and the lyrics, there is this synthesis, this um, digestion, this uh, essence, this juicing of these elements that a dancer must be able to do. And there is also a music inside of the dancer. So as a, a performer, for instance, with my orchestra, I remember I used to add a lot of musical beats to the music which was already composed. And the musicians understood it and they played it. So as a dancer, I am a creative or a co-creative element regarding to the music. I'm not just a translator of the music, no. I am an active part of the music. I. Uh, embody the music but I also add music to the music by adding sounds and sensations and emotions and, and personal experiences that are not there per se, they are not there um, bluntly, they are not there in principle but as a dancer I go and I add those elements to the music so maybe a bit that is not there I hear it in my mind, so I add the beat. And if you have a good orchestra with a good drummer, let's say a good tabal, he will hear your beat and he will add it to the music. But this is just an example. There are many, many examples. You know, maybe a rhythm that is supposed to be played in a fast tempo. If I'm a co-creator with the music, if I'm a dancer who has the sense of musicality, I will maybe suggest to the orchestra that we can make it a little slower for some reason. So I change the music according to my own perspective, my own sensibility, my own feeling. I add something to the music. I uh, am a musician in my own right as a dancer and I train myself so that when a sound comes, any sound, I'm able to instinctively create from that sound as a partner in a dialogue. 
independently of how much I know about this sound or how much I don't know about this sound yeah so it's very important that as a dancer you understand vocabulary and all the knowledge but musicality and co-creating with the music working with the music is very important and it will make the distinction between an average dancer um, cute perfect movements that everybody applauds and an artist that shifts people perceptions so you have to also to choose what you want to be you want to be a cute doll and applaud it because uh, most audiences don't know much about Egyptian dance so if they see somebody cute doing cute stuff that they're already expecting they will applaud that doesn't mean it's a great thing it just means that's the standard that's what people are expecting to see so they think this is the best they can see but if you are an artist or if you want to do Egyptian dance in an artistic way you gotta go further than that baby you gotta go higher than that so working with the music and knowing how to grab and how to add and how to play inside of the music is as important if not more important than having all the vocabulary having all the knowledge yes so musicality do your musician thing baby don't be a mere translator a traditore somebody who betrays